Philippines has four kinds of peso coins. One, five, ten, and twenty pesos. Philippine peso coins have different values. Be sure you know each and every coin. In one peso, there's number one and a picture of a Sarizal. In five pesos, there's number five with Andres Bonifacio's portrait beside. In ten pesos, there's number ten and a Polnario Mabini's picture. In twenty pesos, we would see Manuel L. Quezon and number twenty. Today, I will introduce to you the official currency of the Philippines, which is the Philippine Peso. Piso, which is the Tagalog for Peso, is denoted by the symbol P, with two bars just like this. Other ways of writing the Philippine Peso sign is PHP, or just the letter P. There are three Filipino words for money. First is the word pera. Say pera. Second is the word salapi. Say salapi. Third is the word kuwarta. Say kuwarta. Among these three, pera is the most commonly used. Let's talk about the Philippine coins first. These coins belong to the new generation currency series released by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. In Filipino, coins is barya. Say, barya. This is the Philippine 20 peso coin. The Philippine 20 peso coin is the largest denomination coin of the Philippine peso. However, the Philippine 20 peso note, or what we call paper bill, is the smallest banknote denomination in general circulation in the Philippines. In 2019, the 20 peso note was replaced by a coin that was released during the first quarter of 2020 to solve the overuse of this banknote. Since each individual note only lasts a year in circulation. However, a 20 peso coin would last for 10 to 15 years, even if it costs more to manufacture. Currently, there are two versions of 20 pesos in circulation. The banknote and the coin. 20 pesos. Say, 20 pesos. In Filipino, we formally call it dalawampung piso. Say, dalawampung piso. And we commonly call it bente pesos. Say, bente pesos. The latest 20 pesos, which is a coin, is bimetallic with a copper-plated steel outer ring. 
and a little plated steel center. Its mass is 11.50 grams. Its size is 30 millimeter in diameter. In front of a Philippine 20 peso coin, we would see an arc of Republica ng Pilipinas on top. On the left side, there is a portrait of Manuel Alquezon. Manuel Alquezon is the second president of the Philippines after Emilio Aguinaldo. On the right side, we would see the value, which is a big number 20. Then, the word piso below. Also, the year it was made, or the year of minting. At the back of a Philippine 20 peso coin, we would see a nilad plant on the left side. Nilad is a mangrove from which the name of the city of Manila was derived, meaning dominated by nilad, or there is nilad. It is a stocky rice plant that grows white and yellow star-shaped flowers. Nilad is abundant along with the ponds and creeks of Manila and all over the Philippines, particularly along Pasig River where the Malacanang Palace is located. On the right side, we would see the logo of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. And below it is the Malacanang Palace. The Philippine 20 peso coin is written in symbols like this. Or like this. It is written in words like this. Its value is 20.0 Philippine Pesos or 20 PHP. This is the 10 Peso Coin. The Philippine 10 Peso Coin is the second largest denomination coin of the Philippine Peso. Currently, there are two versions of the 10 Peso Coin in circulation. The version from the BSP coin series, which was issued from 1995 to 2017. And the original round coin and updated version from the new generation currency coin series, issued from 2017 up to present. 10 pesos. Say, 10 Pesos. In Filipino, we call it sampung piso. Say sampung piso. The updated version of a 10 peso coin has plain round edge. It is nickel plated steel. Its color is silver. Its mass is 8.0 grams. Its size is 27 millimeter in diameter. In front of a Philippine 10 peso coin, we would see the name of our country, Republica ng Pilipinas, on top. On the left side, there is a portrait of Apolinario Mabini. Apolinario Mabini is regarded as the utak ng himagsikan or the brain of the revolution. On the right side, we would see the value, which is a big number 10, then word piso below, also the year it was made, or the year of minting. At the back of a Philippine 10 peso coin, we would see 
a Kappa Kappa plant on the left side. Kappa Kappa is a beautiful climbing shrub that usually attaches itself to another tree. It is becoming exceedingly rare or critically endangered due to forest destruction. On the right side, we would see the logo of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. The Philippine 10 peso coin is written in symbols like this. Or like this. It is written in words like this. Its value is 10.00 Philippine pesos or 10 PHP. This is the Philippine 5 peso coin. The Philippine 5 peso coin is the third largest denomination coin of the Philippine peso. Currently, there are three versions of the 5 peso coin in circulation. The version from the BSP coin series which was issued from 1995 to 2017. The original round coin from the New Generation Currency Coin Series which was issued from 2017 to 2019. And the nonagonal or the nine-sided shape version since 2019 up to present. Because there is a confusion between the design of a 5 peso coin and a 10 peso coin, they created a non-circular model. This one has edges and sides. 5 pesos. See? 5 pesos. In Filipino, we call it limang piso. Say, limang piso. The original version of a 5 peso coin has plain round edge. While the 9-sided updated version of a 5 peso coin has plain and the nagonal edge. Both the original version and the updated version of 5 peso coins are nickel plated steel and silver in color. Both are 7.4 grams in mass with a size of 25 millimeter in diameter. In front of a Philippine 5 peso coin, you would see the name of our country, Republica ng Pilipinas, on top. On the left side, there is a portrait of Andres Bonifacio. Andres Bonifacio was a Filipino revolutionary leader. He is often called the father of the Philippine Revolution. On the right side, we would see the value which is a big number 5. Then, the word piso below. Also, the year it was made or the year of minting. At the back of a Philippine 5 peso coin, we would see a tayabak plant on the left side. Tayabak is commonly known as the jade vine because of its distinctive color, which is translucent blue-green. On the right side, we would see the logo of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. The Philippine 5 peso coin is written in symbol like this. Or like this. It is written in words like this. Its value is 5.00 Philippine Pesos or 5 PHP. 
This is the Philippine 1 peso coin. The Philippine 1 peso coin is the fourth largest denomination coin of the Philippine peso. Currently, there are two versions of the 1 peso coin in circulation. The version from the BSP coin series, which was issued from 1995 to 2017, and the latest new generation currency coin series, which was issued from 2018 up to present. 1 Peso Say 1 Peso In Filipino, we call it Piso. Say Piso. The updated version of a 1 peso coin has plain round edge. It is a nickel plated steel and silver in color. Its mass is 6 grams. With a size of 23 millimeter in diameter. In front of a Philippine 1 peso coin, we would see the name of our country. Republika ng Pilipinas on top. On the left side, there is a portrait of Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal is the national hero or the Pambansang Bayani of the Philippines. On the right side, we would see the value, which is a big number one. Then, the word piso below. Also, the year it was made, or the year of minting. At the back of a Philippine 1 peso coin, we would see a waling waling plant on the left side. Waling waling is considered as the most beautiful orchid in the Philippines. It is the queen of all Philippine orchids. It produces long-lasting flowers. On the right side, we would see the logo of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. The Philippine 1 peso coin is written in symbols like this. Or like this. It is written in words like this. Its value is 1.00 Philippine Peso or 1 PHP. Now, let's have a review! These are the Philippine Peso Coins. We have 1 Peso, 5 Pesos, 10 Pesos, and 20 Pesos. In front of each Philippine peso coin, we would see a portrait of our country's hero. In a 1 peso coin, we would see Jose Rizal. In a 5 peso coin, we would see Andres Bonifacio. In a 10 peso coin, we would see Apolinario Mabini. And in a 20 peso coin, we would see Manuel El Quezon. At the back of each Philippine peso coin, we would see a picture of a plant that can be found in our country. In a 1 peso coin, we would see the waling waling. In a 5 peso coin, we would see the tayabak. In a 10 peso coin, we would see the kapa kapa. And in a 20 peso coin, we would see the nilad. Now, let's have a practice. Get your pen and paper because you're going to say and write the amount of the following Philippine peso coins in symbols. Let's start! What Philippine peso coin is this? You have 30 seconds to write 
your answer. Right! This is a one peso coin. It is written like this. Next, what Philippine peso coin is this? Timer starts now. Absolutely! This is a 5 peso coin. It is written like this. Another one. What Philippine peso coin is this? You have 30 seconds to write your answer. Absolutely! This is a 10 peso coin. It is written like this. Lastly, what Philippine peso coin is this? Timer starts now. Great job! This is a 20 peso coin. It is written like this. Remember, in our country, we use the term peso for our money. Each Philippine peso coin has its own corresponding value. When writing the peso money in symbols, we use the peso sign. And keep in mind, always be thankful that our parents have enough money to buy our needs. This is Teacher April saying, let's keep learning and growing together. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye!